I can't believe we're even about to have this debate. Like, how is this even a discussion? But nonetheless, here we are. Subscribe to this channel if you enjoy this debate and let me know in the comments if you want more of these Who Is Better debates in the future. Marcus Smart here, and I gotta tell ya, there's one thing I can agree on. You should subscribe to this channel, because every time we have one of these debates in the future, you can be notified when I'm about ready to serve up a certified grade A American Dragon style ass whooping on that old geezer, the Schleg Daddy. But today is all about one thing. The Becky Lynch slander stops, and it stops right now. I'm going to use facts and evidence to destroy the haters, prove just how out of touch these old wrestling fans like the Schlang Daddy truly are. I mean, can you imagine thinking China was a bigger star than the man is now? Marcus, is this really how you want to start the Who Is Better series? Mm-hmm. How's that? Squash match? That's right. I'm ready to squash you for the whole world to see. And you're going to do that by telling everyone how Becky Lynch is a bigger star than China ever was? Yes, exactly. This will be good. I can't wait. You know what? Let me have it. Let the burial begin! You need a shovel? I don't need your cheap Triple H props. I'm going to use facts and logic to destroy each and every single one of your arguments with surgical precision. Like what? <laughs> Becky Lynch is the better promo. Becky Lynch is the better character. She's the man, for God's sakes. China only wanted to pretend to be a man. And Becky Lynch, by far, is the much, much better wrestler. Those are subjective things. Personal opinions. That in no way, shape, or form means that person A is a bigger star than person B. Just because you like somebody doesn't mean that everybody else does. And it doesn't mean that everybody knows who the hell that person is. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. And Becky Lynch has accomplished way more than China could ever dream of. That's bullshit, but I'll bite. You're muddling personal taste in arbitrary accomplishments with actual name and face recognition and star power. Are you really trying to tell me that you think Becky Lynch is known by more people, has more star power, has more mainstream appeal than China? Exactly. Becky's the one that main evented WrestleMania. Becky's the one that was on Sports Center multiple times. Becky was the one that was on the ESPN the magazine cover. So graceful and elegant, yet strong and powerful. The modern woman. She was the number one star in WWE, and China never was that. And she's even got a role in an upcoming Marvel movie. Do you even know the name of the movie? That's not important. That's what I thought. There's a lot to unpack here. Now, here we go. Keep wanting to bring up accomplishments. Let's talk about accomplishments. China was the first woman to ever enter the Royal Rumble match. She was the first woman to ever wrestle a main event match on Monday Night Raw. China was the first, and still to this day, correct me if I'm wrong here, the only woman to be the Intercontinental Champion. And not only the Intercontinental Champion, but a featured player, a main act during one of the hottest periods in wrestling history. Meanwhile, the one you stand for so damn bad, Becky Lynch had to ride Ronda Rousey's coattails to the main event of WrestleMania. False. Not true. She is the man that WrestleMania main event was entirely, solely, and totally built around her. Right. Becky Lynch getting into that spot was a happy little accident, but they main evented WrestleMania because of her, not Ronda Rousey. Right. 
Meanwhile, you're trying to bring up this main event of Mania thing like it's a brag. Fans walked out on that main event. That main event was trash. Interesting choice to bring up in the Becky Lynch wins column. Furthermore, you bring up things like Sports Center. Does it really matter if vastly fewer people watch Sports Center than they even do Monday Night Raw nowadays? Because it's mainstream. It's not wrestling. It's not in the wrestling bubble. Yeah, maybe, but how much crossover do you think there really is? Like a lot of those same people that are watching Raw might actually be watching Sports Center. It's not like you're going to Sports Center and every single one of them is a unique fan that's never heard about wrestling or never watches wrestling at all. So how much is she really growing the scope here? How many more people really know about Becky Lynch because she appeared on Sports Center? When if anything, Sports Center is using Monday Night Raw and WWE to try and boost their ratings. That's not important. And see, see, this is what he always does, folks. He's shifting the goalpost. And they're here, and then they're here, and then they're here, and then they're here. Pick a goal, Slide Daddy, and stick with it. <laughs> shifting the goalpost. Well, you'd know plenty about that, and so would your fellow Becky stands. But either way, you might as well buckle up and get ready because I'm about to live in your end zone, bitch, for the rest of this video. You want to talk about Becky Lynch being on the cover of ESPN the magazine when it was a dying mag. That cover doesn't even really count. Meanwhile, China was featured on many magazine covers, including two different versions, I believe, of Playboy. And one of them, I believe her first one, you have to fact check me on this, sold 1.4 million copies at a time when Playboy was still very relevant. When Playboy mattered, she sold more copies than Sable. But please, 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 tell me I'm being on something like ESPN the magazine's cover when that magazine's dying is a bigger deal than being the featured lady on the cover of Playboy. That's your opinion. No, that's a fact. And you keep bringing up this whole, Becky was the top person in the company and China never was. Like that matters in relation to mainstream exposure and name and face recognition and star power. But guys, does it really though? Like humor me for a second. Who would be more widely known? The person at the top of the food chain when Raw is barely getting 2 million viewers a week? Or one of the people at the top of the food chain when Raw is averaging 5, 6, 7 million viewers every week? And between that and WCW Monday Nitro, you're averaging well over 10 million wrestling viewers every week. Who would have more natural name and face recognition? It's obviously Becky, because she was the one that was on the total top of the company. China was never that. Becky was on top. She had the pressure of carrying the ball. That matters more. That matters way more. So, help me understand something. You're doubling down on this. You think the person that was on top, when viewership was declining, that averaged less than 2 million viewers watching her work, and perform every week has more exposure, more name face recognition, more star power than somebody that wrestled at a time where wrestling viewership on Raw was six or seven million people and on Monday nights as a whole for professional wrestling was over 10 million people. This is a hill that you're gonna choose to die on? That truth hurts, doesn't it? No. No. God, no. What the fuck are you even talking about? Do you understand how stupid that sounds? Do you understand how silly and nonsensical that whole argument is? Yes, it's stupid to deny the truth that Becky Lynch now is bigger than China ever was. I wonder why wrestling fans now more than ever get the label of neckbeards and virgins and nerds who live in their mom's basements. You really wonder, based on what you're saying, which makes absolutely no mathematical, logical, or common sense, 
Somebody that's on top because they're on top at a time where wrestling gets a fifth to a quarter of the viewership now that it used to. That that person, because they're on top, because they're the prop at a crappy time with low viewership, they're still the bigger star. The hell are you even talking about, man? But China didn't have crossover appeal, and she certainly didn't have staying power on her own, especially after professional wrestling, no legs to really stand on. Isn't that right, Casey Richards? Becky Lynch does? I believe it, and my friends over at the Squared Circle Reddit page agree with me. What in the bluest of blue fucks are you even talking about? How can you measure Becky Lynch's staying power outside of professional wrestling when she hasn't even left the wrestling world yet? You can't count it when she freaking got knocked up and is having a baby. The hell are you even talking about? And are you really trying to tell me that China didn't cross over to the mainstream at all? Well, she didn't. And that's why I'm saying it. China didn't cross over and she didn't have staying power. Yeah, except she totally did. I mean, just look at the TV guide covers. <laughs> Geezer, like that means anything. Ding dong, dumb dick, over 20 years ago when millions of people still bought their fucking TV guides, it meant something, it absolutely meant something, it was a huge deal. Just because you're too young and dumb to understand that doesn't change that fact. Whatever, old timer. Uh, whatever, bitch. So... The many appearances on talk shows, like I think three times in 2000 alone, on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno when it was the highest rated late night talk show. The spots where she was a presenter at award shows. All the guest spots and cameos on popular TV shows. The celebrity boxing match where she did over 12 million viewers. None of that counts as crossover to the mainstream, right? was just along for the ride in that era, like she was cruising in Eddie Guerrero's Lowrider, hmm. Or, or, hear me out, here's a thought, maybe China was one of the top stars in an incredibly popular peak era of wrestling and helped drive some of that transition by wrestling back into the mainstream. And you want to mention this unnamed movie role for Becky Lynch. Are you going to leave out that China was Arnold Schwarzenegger's top choice to be the TX in the Terminator 3 movie? Well, it didn't happen, so it doesn't count here. Yeah, except it does. China was a big star. A massive star. During an incredibly hot and popular period of professional wrestling. All while Vince and the WWF eventually started to try and play games with her like they sabotaged her for that Terminator 3 role. Meanwhile, Becky Lynch was a happy little accident that stumbled into an opportunity that they didn't even foresee for her, didn't even plan, but they made her a prop that all the while drove viewers away. But, but, but please, please, talk to me all about Becky Lynch and that guest spot on Billions, by God. That makes her a big star, right? Why don't you just admit it, Slug Daddy? You're nothing but a sexist hater having to knock down the efforts, accomplishments, and achievements of women just so you can get your rocks off mansplaining so you can feel important. Whoa! The hell did that come from? You want to talk about moving the effing goalposts? Well, it's true. Everybody knows it, and I'm calling you out on it. The sexist hater. Did Marcus Smart stutter? You heard what I said, and I mean every word of it. Even though I'm sitting here loudly and proudly telling everyone about just how much China was a star, just how big and meaningful her significance and impact was to the WWE, to professional wrestling as a whole, all while Vince McMahon, Hunter, Stephanie, all of those a-holes have largely spent the last 20 years trying to diminish and minimize and illegitimize every little piece of China's legacy. I'm the sexist hater here! Well, you're downplaying the man, Becky Lynch, so what else would you call it? Marcus, it sounds like what I'm doing is being a champion for somebody 
that the powers that be within WWE have tried to piss and shit all over her legacy for the almost past 20 years. Just because I'm saying that China is a bigger star, was a bigger star, that Becky Lynch would ever hope to be, doesn't make somebody a sexist hater. That That's really dumb feminazi bullshit. And I would expect that from some of the other cucks and neck beards on the internet. But Marcus, you're supposed to be a different, better type of nerd. Don't fall into that trap. Be better than that. Nonetheless, Stephanie McMahon said Becky Lynch is the biggest female star in WWE history. And I certainly believe that Stephanie McMahon would know a hell of a lot more than you about that. Stephanie McMahon said, speaking of women that are way bigger stars in the mainstream than Becky Lynch, an executive with the WWE said, that's basically your argument now. What's the matter, Schleg Daddy? No smart ass retorts? No wise ass comebacks? Same Stephanie McMahon that had to steal Joni's man? Got China's sloppy seconds? That has nothing to do with it. You're right. This is a cheap shot by me. Deserved and merited, but not really relevant to the debate. Um, you and some of your Becky stands should also learn that as well. Um, but what you're trying to tell me is, because Stephanie McMahon said it, that makes it so. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Well, yes. When a Stephanie McMahon or a Hunter or the WWE, their commentators, try to say John Cena is the greatest of all time, does that make it so? Oh, no, of course not! That's Daniel Bryan! The difference here! <laughs> Damn, son! Cat got your tongue? It's almost like, and I, I understand this is hard for folks that are lucky to work jobs or work any type of meaningful corporate job, but humor me for a second. It's almost like that one of the chief executives of a major international corporation is saying something like that about Becky Lynch because it's self-serving propaganda that helps the current bottom line that in no way, shape, or form is connected to anything close to reality. Well, that's your opinion, and contrary to your own beliefs, the world doesn't revolve around your opinions. Yeah, I don't even want to talk about it anymore. I bet. Yeah, because everything you said only proves one thing. Oh, I know. Bucky Lynch is the biggest female star in WWE history! Wait, what? No! The fuck are you talking about, man? What in the flat earth is wrong with you? China was one of the top acts in one of the hottest eras in wrestling history. She had some of the highest rated, consistently highest rated segments on whatever show she was on, Raw or SmackDown, even at times, outdrawing in the ratings, Stone Cold Steve Austin. She had significantly more mainstream crossover appeal that I have demonstrated with example after example and haven't even mentioned them all during this debate compared to a Becky Lynch just because you didn't experience China growing up or you're too young to know about her or you're too stupid to understand the history. Just because you want to be a toxic Becky Lynch stan doesn't change reality, no matter how disconnected you are from it. There your hating ass goes again. All these specifics and metrics are just a huge conspiracy to keep modern wrestling down because you pathetically want to grab at the nostalgia of days gone by that weren't really all that good. Times have changed and you've just never been able to come to grips with that. Well, Marcus, just because you want to be disconnected from reality doesn't mean that reality is something else other than what reality is. But we could go round in circles on this all day long, but I think it's time to call a wraps on it. I want the people out there watching this video, let us know in the comments why you think China is the bigger mainstream star, the biggest female superstar in WWE history. Leave a comment 
and tell us why I'm right, Marcus Smart, that Becky Lynch, the man, is the biggest female star in WWE history. And just as importantly, because it always matters, make sure you leave a comment to let everybody know why Daniel Bryan is the best motherfucker wrestler in the world. You know, back in my day, China main evented house shows that were sold out. Becky Lynch main events house shows that are two thirds empty. China gets to bed God. And meanwhile, Becky Lynch gets the Nazi bitches sloppy seconds. But somehow, some way, Becky Lynch is the biggest female star in WWE history. It just makes no sense, man.